The JK05A allows you to diagnose and determine treatment for eustachian tube dysfunctions, including blockage of the eustachian tube, patulous eustachian tube, and serous otitis media. The TTAG test examines the conditions of the eustachian tube when forcibly ventilated by the Valsalva maneuver or Toynbee maneuver. Caution. This test will apply pressure on the middle ear cavity through the nasal cavity via the eustachian tube. Be careful not to apply excessive pressure in case the patient has a patulous eustachian tube. If the patient has any combination of ailments, including high blood pressure, heart disease, or any ear-related disorders, the Valsalva maneuver may have an adverse effect. Always ensure that you follow the doctor's instructions before conducting the test. This video will demonstrate how to conduct a TTAG test to assess eustachian tube function. Please see the attached instruction manual for how to connect the probes. This section will demonstrate the full test procedure. Turn on the power switch. Press the TTAG button to set the test mode to TTAG. Pressure changes are displayed on the graph in channel 1. The JK05A will register a decrease in pressure as an upward reading on the graph. Changes in renopharynx pressure are displayed on the graph in channel 2. Before conducting the test, select an appropriately sized earplug to ensure that the patient's ear canal is sealed and that there is no air leakage. Clean the TTAG probe and renopharynx pressure detection probe thoroughly using a damp cloth moistened with disinfectant solution. Place the headset over the patient's head. Holding the probe in one hand, pull on the patient's earlobe with the other to widen their external ear canal. Then, insert the probe tip into the patient's ear. Slowly press the depressurization button on the TTAG headset to release any negative pressure inside the ear canal. Push the start-stop button to begin the preparatory measurement. Now, slowly press the seal check button to confirm that there is no pressure leakage displayed on the test screen. Push the start stop button again to end the preparatory measurement. Press the clear button to delete the data. How to perform the Valsalva maneuver. Provide the following instructions to your patient during the test. Ask the patient to insert the probe into one of their nostrils, making sure the probe does not move during the test. Instruct them to press firmly on the opposite nostril to block the other side of their nose. On your signal, instruct the patient to exhale forcefully for three seconds into the probe. The patient should release the opposite nostril and then swallow. Make sure the patient maintains firm contact between the probe and their nostril. This section will demonstrate the full test procedure when the patient has inserted the renopharynx pressure detection probe into one of their nostrils and blocked the other side with a finger, push the start-stop button. The test screen will begin to scroll to the left. Instruct your patient to perform the Valsalva maneuver. Press the start-stop button to finish the test once the data you need has been recorded. The machine will record up to 30 seconds of data at one time. Test results displayed on the screen can be scrolled by turning the main dial. Push the print button to print the test results. Finally, press the clear button to delete the recorded data.